players, when they serve, they think that they have to jump up to their serve. Instead, you need to make sure that you're not just... So a lot of players, when they serve, they think that they have to jump in order to hit a good serve. Hey everyone, my name's Tyler from Tennis with Tyler, and today I'm here to tell you that you don't have to jump for your serve. A lot of players, they think that they have to jump and it ends up throwing off their serve. You don't need to jump during your serve. Well, Tyler, I see Federer, Nadal, Kyrgios, Alcaraz, Djokovic, Serena Williams jump during their serves. Well, they jump, but they don't jump because they're saying, oh my gosh, I have to try to jump during my serve. They jump because it's a result of their energy and momentum. I will say that one more time. All the pros, everyone that you see jump that's good at tennis, what are they doing? They're jumping as a result of their momentum, timing, and power and energy instead of just thinking that they have to jump. These pros are jumping because what's happening? You are loading on your back leg. Then when you load on your back leg, now what am I going to do? I'm going to explode upward. When I explode upward, that's going to get my body up in the air to hit it. Again, a lot of players, when they hit, they jump, but they think that because they have to jump, they jump from their front foot. Instead, you're going to load on your back leg. Then when you load on your back leg and you load into it enough with the proper timing, then in order to hit the ball, you have to explode up. I will say that one more time. In order to hit the ball, if you load properly on your serve, you're going to have to explode to hit the ball. The reason why is because think, these pros, they're hitting the ball up super, super high. If they don't explode up in the air, they're not going to be making contact that high. They won't just hit the ball or they're going to frame the top of the ball. They're exploding up. Again, they're exploding up as a result of their energy in their back leg instead of what? Instead of just going, oh my God, I got to jump to hit the ball. Nine times out of 10, if you're a club level player, you're jumping if you think that you got to jump again from your front foot. So how do we ensure that we can explode and eventually get to the point of the jump? It's very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to exaggerate the living daylights out of your back leg. A lot of players, they lean on their front leg, they don't go on their back leg enough. You want to go back, you want to load on your back leg, and then all you're going to do is you're going to explode up forward. Now, if you load on your back leg and you don't explode all the way up and jump, that's perfectly fine. I personally, nowadays, I don't jump at all for my serve. If I'm playing a real match right now, and I'm playing one of my friends, or competitively, here's going to be my serve. I'm going to load, here we are, boom. I'm not really warmed up, but that's my serve, that's okay. I can hit a pretty good serve and consistent serve. I'm just not loading enough that I can go up into the air. Now, another way to load even more is what am I going to do? I'm going to stick my front hip out. I'm going to go out with my front hip. By going out with my front hip, that's going to what? Force my back leg to get into the ball. Again, if I'm here and I'm serving, watch, my body's just going forward. But if I get into my back leg and I put my front hip out, that's going to force me to load more into my leg. Watch, if I stick my front hip out, watch what's happening. Look, front hip, here we are, into my leg. Again, one more time, front hip, here we are, look. So by sticking your front hip outward, once again, it's going to force you to get more into your leg. So stick your front hip outward, load more into your leg, and then you're going to be able to jump up. Now, when you jump up, you wanna make sure you finish on your front foot. A lot of players, what they do is that they jump up and they go with this leg. If I land on my dominant leg, look at my body. My body's facing this way. I will do that one more time. Players go wrong because they load, but then when they go, they bring their front leg. Look what's going to happen. My body's going to go face this way. My serve's going to go in the net because I'm going to come crashing down or I'm going to hit the ball over here. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to load on your back leg. You're going to put your hip out, right? So you're going to put your hip out. Here we are, hip out. And then watch, you're going to explode and you're going to finish on your front leg. Every single time you want to finish on your front leg. A great drill to do is get another racket. I don't have two rackets on me right now, but all you're going to do is you're going to put the racket here and your goal is to hop over the racket. Now, disclaimer, what did we start with in this video? You don't wanna jump just to jump. So you're not going to just jump to jump over this racket. You're not gonna just go like this. Oh my God, I gotta get over. 
oh my God, that was so good. No, that's not right. We don't jump just to jump. You're going to load into your back leg so much that it freaking hurts, that it burns. You're gonna feel the burn. You're gonna load so much and then you're going to explode. So again, how do we do that? We're going to get into our back leg. We're gonna put our front hip out and watch what's going to happen again. I'm going to load. Here we are, I'm going here and then explode forward. Every single time, I don't know why, I can't be stable on my front leg. No matter how many times I try, I personally just can't and flat. But if you can, that's really good. It's okay if you hop a couple times, I hop. I'm not a professional player, that's why I'm on YouTube coaching you guys. But what you really wanna do, let's see if I can do it, here we are. I'm gonna load, here we are, explode and hold my finish and I still hopped. Now, after you do this, what do you have to do? A lot of players, they'll do this in their next match, wherever they play. You don't want to do it in a match. You want to do it in practice, and they'll do this, right? So hit an amazing shot. Here we are, amazing serve. Explode. Boom. And then they'll be here. And then what's going to happen? Oh, no, they got a ball here. And, oh, I suck at tennis. I'm getting beat so much. I eat every ball. Tyler told me the wrong thing. I'm unsubscribing. I'm reporting him. He's the worst tennis coach in the world. Okay, I'm commenting hate everything, right? The reason why is because what you have to do after you go in. Well, if you're serving and volleying, then you're going to go up to the net. But if you're not going in, you got to go out. You can't just stay here after you use this awesome result of energy that I just told you about. What are you going to do? You're going to load. Here we are. You're going to, here we are, explode, boom. And then you're going to go one, two, and back. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? I hope it's still recording. I got it on camera. I just landed on the court with one foot without hopping for the first time in my life. Maybe it's because I wasn't thinking of it. Let's try it one more time. Here we are. So again, guys, you wanna make sure, what do you do? You load, you explode up, boom, and then one, two, and then split, and then you're going to hit. So make sure you get back after you go forward. I'm pretty happy right now. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Once again, you don't want to jump just to jump. You want to jump as a result of your upward momentum and energy. How do we get that? We do this drill. We load in our back leg. We step our front hip out. We keep our arm up so we can load in that back leg, and you're going to be so much better off. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. If you want even more serve tips, make sure to click the link in my ebook. I know you're going to love it. Have a good one. Happy hitting, and I'll see you guys next time on court.